My name is Annika Lucas. I am 53 years old. The healing process takes one inside and the emotional maturity that I have today is due to that particular process that takes a person to that most vulnerable self and then with love and compassion of perhaps a witness or the safe adult person that we are ourselves, we can take those parts of ourselves that were frozen in time by the abuse, the emotional growth stunted by the abuse, and loosen that and break through the shame and give that young child that we once were the nurturing and the love that it always deserved. And that creates integration of the self and emotional maturity. I am a mother, so I have had to call on my adult self many times. I have had to dig inside myself to become a better mother, to be there for my daughter. And in my case, it required going really deep into the pain because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to be there for her sufficiently unless I was really able to get that healing. I reached a point where I know I would have killed myself rather than feel that pain that incredible grief. But because I'm a mother, I had to stick it out. And I'm not the only woman, I'm not the only mother who has been in that place. I think it is ultimately what makes women stronger. The fact that we are mothers, that we can look at our young ones and find our young selves in our young ones and not power trip, not have to put them down, that we know that's not what a mother is. My mother was not a mother. She was too sick. She was the ultimate product of the dark side of the patriarchy. She was like a little girl, acted like a little girl. And all the anger from her former abuse and enduring abuse, she just put it all with me because she had power over me. That's not a mother. I think mothers, whether they're male or female, can really feel into um, what it means to be responsible, what it means to be emotionally mature. And ultimately, that is the compassion and the love that is needed to change the world. And the way to that love and compassion is to look at ourselves and accept ourselves as we are, to go to these vulnerable places inside ourselves, to go back to the abuse, to go back to the pain, rather than to try to avoid the pain by a variety of addictions that are readily available and very much encouraged in this society. We live in a society that's a paradigm where the worst people are on top and they're the biggest power addicts. And as we go down the ladder, everyone is somehow caught in that paradigm. You're either at the bottom when you're perhaps a prisoner or poor, and so those are, are the people that this capitalist system is built on, the blood and the sweat of, the, of those people. And then there's everyone in the middle who is just trying to either go up or is having trouble reaching down and being compassionate. So we want to remove the ladder. We just want to change the paradigm altogether. And as women, especially, we have the ability to tap into our strength, 
but as women, as compassionate mothers, as beings who are more in touch with our feelings. And from that place, I think we can make a real difference.